Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Janae and I am a flight attendant based in Chicago. And today we are getting ready to go on a two day trip. We leave tomorrow. Our sign in is until 5.30. Our commute flight is at noon. So I have to leave my house probably about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning for this flight. I do still have to get packed. I went by the grocery store earlier to get food, but it is an international trip. <laughs> so I had to be careful about what kind of food that I got to bring in to that country. Continue on watching and I'll tell you exactly where we're going. We are going to pack our bags and pack our lunch bags. Shouldn't take too long, but I'm going to bring you along with me. Take my hand, don't let go, scour down. Welcome to the Peoria Airport. Um, it's funny that I know the flight schedules for this airport so well, even for my airline, for another airline I usually take, and for Allegiant, which I never take. <laughs> I'm so happy that we are at a gate near a Starbucks because even though it's two in the afternoon, I'm so tired. I took a nap on the flight, so I'm getting Starbucks. So I'm getting Starbucks and I'm also getting an Impossible Sandwich just to snack on for my flight. I brought food, but I'm a little hungry and I don't want to eat. We got my food yet. But yeah, we still have like three hours until my sign in, and so I have time to just kill. But first, coffee. Even though it's two in the afternoon, I'm so tired. I just need coffee right now. <laughs> long day um I look awful but that's because it's been a really long day <laughs> hi I'm part of the crew that checked in and I totally forgot to ask if there's a microwave anywhere that I can access and what okay perfect thank you so much thank you you too okay they have a microwave <laughs> So I meant to bring my hot logic because the only food that I brought is like frozen food that I'm gonna have to heat up. And this hotel doesn't have a microwave in the room, it has a fridge. Um, but they have a microwave, it's in the lobby. So I am gonna have to go down to the lobby to heat up my food, but that's fine. As long as I can eat. It is midnight here because we are on Eastern time. Did I even tell you where we are? No, it's gonna be a surprise. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> We're not even gonna be here that long. <laughs> so. Anyhow, it's gonna be a part of the story where I am. First, I was trying to get on a United flight out of Peoria. I always make sure that I have two flights to try just in case something happens to one of the flights. And because of our commuter policy that we have with my company, we have to try two flights that will get us to our sign-in on time. In order to qualify for commuter policy, we get, I think like four every year where our absence is basically cleared because of commuter policy because we couldn't get to work. So, and that's if the flight's full, I don't get on the flight, or if um, the flight's delayed, canceled, whatever. If I was listed standby on those flights, couldn't make it, 
commuter policy. So I always, 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 always make sure that I have two flights. So the first flight I tried was United. That got delayed. So, and it wasn't super delayed, but they said they were waiting for maintenance to come. And since it's a small airport, usually maintenance isn't on site. So I was like, well, we don't know how long that's gonna take. But they did say it was a quick issue. They just needed maintenance to come handle it. So I decided, I was like, you know what, let me try my airline. My airline has a flight out of Peoria and with the delay, it said it was gonna be, and then with United being delayed, they said it was gonna be delayed till one. This was originally a 105 departure from my airline. So I'm like, might as well just go take my airline. There's more seats open, so I'm more likely to not have to sit next to somebody. And, which happened, I got my own row. And it would get me into the correct terminal that I needed to be in, so I wouldn't have to walk from United to my airline's terminal. So I was like, let's just do that. And then also, David's cousin works at the airport for my airline, so I got to see her. So it worked out. I got to see her. We, I got on a flight, got into my terminal. Everything worked out. Now, I got in, commuted in early because those were the only flights that would get me there in time. So next thing that happened had to do with the destination that I am in right now. And we are in Toronto, Canada. Now, this is the first time that I have been to Canada or really any international destination since COVID started. March 2020, 2020, <laughs> March 2020, I did my first vlog that I ever posted on my YouTube channel. And that is when I went to Calgary. And that's the last time that I've been international, the last time I've been to Canada. Uh, but we're in Toronto right now but there's like new health requirements, especially cause like I haven't been international for over a year. So I had to brush up on specific like PAs that I had to make, specific things that I had to do, things that I need to bring. I had to make sure that I had my passport. I had to make sure that I had my vaccination card for COVID-19 um, because Canada requires that for entry and some countries that require it for entry crew members are exempt however Canada does not exempt crew members anymore so I had to make sure I had a copy of that and then I also had to submit my passport documentation whatnot into Canada itself but the app wasn't working and it wasn't working for myself it wasn't working for uh, two other of my crew members and so that caused issues and those issues turned into a delay because we called um, the captain. I don't know exactly who he talks to, but he was trying to figure out how is this gonna affect us if we can't get that documentation submitted. We were told we possibly could face a quarantine when we get here if we don't have it submitted. Um, and this was a whole process and eventually they had, that person had to get a hold of Canadian Customs to see like, what can we do? Everything did end up getting resolved, but we were delayed coming in here about two hours. And it's not a very long layover as it is. In fact, it's midnight here and our van is at 10.30. So we are here for 10 hours and 30 minutes. So it's been a day <laughs> and this is only a two days. So once we get back, we're done. It's just one flight here one flight back reason being is because Canada doesn't exempt crew members for a vaccine requirement so they didn't want unvaccinated crew members to say they wanted a Kansas City overnight and so they bid for a Kansas City overnight but then that Kansas City overnight happens to be connected to a Toronto overnight and then they have to get taken off of that trip so to avoid all of that, they just did all of the Canada overnights in its own thing. So that's why this trip's only a two day, it's a one one. Super easy, not worth a whole lot of hours. So, so like, it's not the greatest trip. Nothing against Canada, I love Canada. <laughs> and I love this hotel. Not enough to be quarantined here for 10 to 14 days, but it is, kind of a hassle being a commuter, having to commute up to Chicago, sit at the airport for like three hours, I think is what I waited for my sign in, <sighs> just to have a short overnight 
and I only get paid three hours for two days of work plus commuting and commuting is like a job in itself so so that is the not so fun not so glamorous part of this is like with my pay scale I'm getting paid like not not even a hundred dollars like not even equal to a hundred dollars for two days of work and commuting so it sucks but <laughs> we're here I'm glad we're here I'm gonna rest up I wanted to go to the gym tomorrow actually I wanted to go to the gym tonight but it's midnight that's not happening and literally all I brought was like cozy clothes and workout clothes and then like an outfit just in case we went out but it's midnight so we're not doing that <laughs> So literally the whole clue, so literally the whole crew is slam clicking because there's not really anything for us to do and I'm going to go make my food. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize that the two meals that I bought for myself are so similar. So, but I think I'm going to go with the sweet bread. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah. I almost passed it. Yeah. Aha. I'm looking at these snacks as if I didn't pack snacks. To be honest, this does not look very appetizing. But we're gonna try it. Oh look, the elevator that I came out of is here. Cool. I might also make this instant miso soup that I got from the Royal Blue Grocer in Austin. It just sounds really good right now, so might make that too. But for now, bone apple teeth. Good morning. There have been planes flying over me all morning. So we have a 1030 van. So I have to head down there now. We have like 15 minutes, um, but I am all ready to go. Um, it is a bit earlier of a van because we don't have a departure until noon. So it's an hour and a half before departure, even though we're right by the airport, but because we're an international, we still have to go through customs and immigration and all of that stuff. Cause we do get pre-cleared here in Toronto to go into the United States. So we have to do all that. So. We're leaving a bit early, so oh, let's get going. <sighs> Hello! Welcome to David's car. So, plot twist. We had all of our fun commuting up with flights. However, we are driving back down to the Peoria area, which is where I live. So, reason being, we... Me and my fiance, David, who is also a flight attendant, if you don't know already, my flight isn't for another like four hours to Peoria. Plus, David is on reserve on Wednesday, and so he likes driving up for his reserve assignments instead of flying up because it's a little more predictable. So, <laughs> I'm driving the car back to Peoria. I'm going to get home sooner. So, it really worked out. Here we are. We are driving, um, we ran into my good friend Amy. You've seen Amy before in my Fargo vlog. She is Chicago based now and I ran into her. I keep running into her and I absolutely love it. So I chatted with her for a bit and now we're ready to get onto the road and get home. <laughs> because at this point, if I keep dilly-dallying, I'm not gonna get home any sooner than if I flew. So we're gonna, we're gonna drive, we're gonna go, we're gonna get food probably because I am starving and hopefully this two and a half ish hour drive goes by pretty fast. <laughs> Let me tell you a good way to know that I switch between cars a lot. I tried to use my car key for David's car and was like, why is the key not going in? <laughs> Oy vey. Something special on the rise, something special that I like about you. So much higher Fly So much higher